We're recording. Well, welcome everyone to the Amherst Design Review Board meeting of October 21st, 2024. My name is Erica Zikas and I'm the chair of the Design Review Board. Calling this meeting to order at 5.02 p.m. The meeting is being recorded and will be made available via the Town of Amherst YouTube channel. Minutes are being taken. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021 and extended again by, the, uh, by Chapter 2 of the Acts of 2023, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so via Zoom or by telephone. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. A hyperlink to the hearing will be posted on the town's online calendar. Board members, I will take roll call. When I call your name, let me know you're here. Um, let's see, Lindsay Schnarr, not present. Karen Winter, not present. Pat Oth. Present. Karen Blum. Present. And Eric Zikos, present. Board members, if technical issues arise, we may need to pause temporarily to fix the problem and then continue the meeting. If the discussion needs to pause, it will be noted in the minutes. Please use the raised hand function to ask a question or make a comment. I will see your request and call on you to speak. After speaking, please remember to remute yourself. The general public comment item is reserved for public comment regarding, regarding items that are not on tonight's agenda and which are on tonight's agenda. <laughs> Please be aware the board will not respond to comments during general public comment period. Public comment could also be heard at other times during the meeting when determined appropriate. Please indicate that you wish to make a comment by clicking the raised hand button when public comment is solicited. If you've joined the Zoom meeting using a telephone, please indicate that you wish to make a comment by pressing star nine on your phone. When called on, please identify yourself by stating your full name and address and put yourself back into mute when you're finished speaking. Residents can express their views for up to three minutes or at the discretion of the chair. If a speaker does not comply with these guidelines or exceeds their allotted time, their participation will be disconnected from the meeting. Tonight's agenda includes the following. So we have general public comment period, and then um, for applications, DRB FY 2024 for 174 North Pleasant Street, Buttercup Bakery, uh, number five, 15A, Prey Street, Jones Properties, number six, 235 Triangle Street, Graphite Studios, and number seven, 21 and 30 Mattoon Street, uh, AKA the Amherst Pelham, Regional High School track. And we'll then have approval of meeting minutes. Uh, and we had on the other business list, uh, continuing the conversation regarding the DRB design review standards. However, Lindsay is not here and she had uh, promised to do a kind of a, a preamble about um, what we mean by compatibility um, and has we don't have that to discuss. And so we may table that discussion for the next meeting. And if that sounds okay with everybody, I think we can get started. All right. So the first item on the agenda is Buttercup Bakery. All right. At 174 North Pleasant Street. Oh, and here is Karen Winter joining oh. us. Yeah. Glad to have you, Karen. And so JJ Juming Yu. Hello. Welcome. Hello. How should we address you? Uh JJ. Um JJ. also but you're for graphite. Um, Yes, so my boss, Andrew, is also in the waiting room, I think. He's also joining the call with us. For... Oh, okay. So um, is somebody here from Buttercup Bakery? They're the first on the agenda tonight. Yeah. I don't see them, which is strange. So let me see. Someone's raising their hand. Hold on. Um, I'm going to put you back in the attendees room, JJ. One second. Get it sorted out in a second. And let's see, maybe the person in the admin is Buttercup Bakery. Promoted to panelists. Hmm. 
Testing mic. Hello. Hi. There's, there's Andrew. I, I know him. Andrew's ah. also from Graphite Studio. <laughs> I'm actually okay. um I'm actually for Buttercup uh, Bakery. Oh, that wasn't Andrew. Okay, great. <laughs> Never mind. Scratch that. Great. Okay. So, admin, <laughs> would you yeah, introduce yourself, please? <laughs> Hi, my, my name is actually Yusan. Um, my cousin is the one that's that's going to be running Buttercup Bakery, so I'm kind of here on her behalf to help her with the communications. Okay, Yusan, thank you. Welcome. Um, we're happy to have you here. And if you're representing Buttercup Bakery, would you like to share your presentation, or would you like me to do that on your behalf? Um, not sure what needs to be presented so yeah if you don't mind taking that um okay well i according to your application we're here to talk tonight about the new sign um the exterior sign uh and exterior paint color change um and your application had uh, a couple of images and so i guess i'll share them and Where's the rotate view? Hang on, rotate view. So we have these two images. And we usually ask uh, applicants to talk a little bit about what the proposal is so that we can uh, then ask you some questions and provide our, our recommendations. Okay, so I think she's gonna have the color to be a little bit lighter. Um, it's going to be more of a yellow, kind of like a dandelion shade versus this like orangier shade of, of yellow. And she, she has reached out to a couple of sign companies for quotes, but obviously she can't proceed until the permit is, is, uh, approved. So I think they had quoted her for an aluminum sign with, um, probably just printing whatever graphics that that is approved to be printed on that aluminum sign. And I believe the measurements were already included in the application. I think it's like a one, one and a half foot by... Two and a half two, feet by eight feet. Eight feet. Same as previous. So, yeah, so we were informed that that's not... Um, that's not like the guidelines. The the architect that we had hired um, in town had mentioned that measurement is not within the guidelines of the town. So we had changed the guy um, the measurement to I think one one and a half feet by eight or nine feet. Yeah, you get up to ten percent percent of the the kind of gross frontage for your sign. And I can see that the there's a calculation here. This is kind of shows us the total facade square footage and then the square footage of the, the sign itself. And then we also see a small image of the lighting. Can you talk a little bit about where that light fixture is going to go? Uh, it's probably going to go right above where the sign is, it's gonna obviously, you know, shine shine on the sign for above the part. sign. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is okay. There's the updated one foot six by six feet. Six feet, not nine feet. Yeah, it's not. A, it's not going to be a huge sign. Let me see if I can find. Okay. Well, there's a few things that remain quite unclear to me. Okay. Um, color being one of them and then how that sign would be mounted. Uh, let's collect some other questions. And I see that uh, Karen, your hand was up. Do you want to add? Yeah, I'm just wondering the uh, color around the sign. Are you planning to have the door and the window frame in the same color? Correct. Yeah, it's going to be matching the sign color. And we often, when new businesses are coming to town, also talk about 
placement of graphics um, on the glass. Mm -hmm. If you were to have signage on the door or that big picture window that talked about your hours of opening, um, if you wanted to have any signage on the door, that would also be part of this presentation. Do you yeah. intend to come back to us or are you not going to post? Oh, no, no. Yeah, we, we do. We do plan on putting the hours of operation. Um, it's either going to be on the door window or probably like in that left corner, maybe the left side of the glass window and and obviously hanging up like a like an electronic open sign just so that folks know that <laughs> it's open or closed. Sure. Okay. Well, you know, that kind of permanent signage is usually part of this package. Mm -hmm. And so for us to make a comprehensive proposal, I'm, I don't know what your, your opening, your business opening timeline is. Okay. Um, but I, I have some questions about like, you know, kind of a final color choice. Yes. In the location and kind of mounting strategy for that light fixture that you showed, because it's it, the light fixture wants to mount on a vertical surface, but that roof is a an angle. So I like, how believe... would you like the sign? These are open questions, and I'm wondering if you have time to come back next month with a, a kind of a more complete proposal. Yeah, the so the current where the sign is sitting now, um, the humble pe peach that used to be there had a it was like an L. L-shaped kind of frame going across that they had mounted their sign on. So I, mm -hmm. I believe uh, we we can reuse that that mount bracket for our sign. Yeah, for the sign, but I'm talking about the light. Like, where does that? You said the light fixture is going to be lighting the sign. Yeah, that I would have to check with the uh, the sign company to see where where yeah. um, it would make sense for them to to add the lighting. So I feel like we, there are certain things that we could discuss tonight, but I, I don't feel comfortable discussing the, the the lighting because I can't understand quite where it's gonna go yet or how okay. it's gonna go there. So okay. um, that's why I was asking about your, your timeline for opening. Should we just table this and talk about it again next month? When yeah, we were, we were info? aiming, yeah, we were aiming for hopefully like mid-November opening. Um, but if if obviously things don't work out in that time frame, we'll just have to kind of adjust some a few things along the way. I mean, I think so that the seeing... some things we might be able to talk about tonight, I, I think can kind of imagine this a slightly warmer, softer yellow. I so don't, the, I don't want to speak yeah, so the, the yellow is going to be probably closer to like the yellow of a dandelion. Um, it's kind of, if you look down right below where the window is, it's kind of like that lighter shade of yellow on one of the petals in, in the plant. Mm -hmm. But it's not like a super bright yellow. It's more like a matted color of, of dandelion yellow. Just need to find. I don't know if I'm able to share. Car in winter. Um. Yeah. I'm. I'm wondering if they want to open in the middle. If if we can approve some of the things, like just a yellow sign, and that they could open, and then they. They just can't mount the uh, light until we approve it later, if that would help them start earlier. Yeah, I don't want to, I feel uncomfortable holding people up, but I feel like this proposal is, um, is on a little, on the incomplete side, like we don't have a, a full picture here of what your, what your intentions are, color, lighting, and then we, we didn't talk about the sign design, but I, I want to open the discussion to to talking about that as well. Uh, Pat, I, I'm I'm agreeing that the information is incomplete, um, but I'm wondering, just as you would prefer not to delay the the opening, um, we have in the past had a signage company email to Jacinta and you, Erica, mm -hmm. um, the 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 new signage. Um, 
recommendation and we were able to respond to Jacinta and you by email. I I I I just can't I can't picture the the dandelion yellow because that can be a harsh yellow, it can be a soft yellow. My my visual uh idea of it, but I, is there some way that we can um speed the process along and and whether that sign is indicative of the font and what what it's going to say when yeah. it's made yeah thank you karen yeah you know, i just agree that without knowing the color it's hard to really make a judgment on the design i also I, it would help to see it again there was something about proportion the actual writing as its proportion to the background. I just wanted to look at that again. If that's... Sure, yeah, I, I hear you. I, I'm happy to put it up, but I remember Yusan mentioning if I could share my screen and I heard that little snippet. And so I took mine down to make it possible for, oh, for them okay. to, to post. Yusan, did you want to share some information with us? Yeah, I, I did find the uh, the final um, finalized design for the sign with the with the font and the dandelion and the color. Um, okay. I'm just trying to figure out how to share that with with the group because this is like my first or second time using Zoom. So oh, oh, go to share. I yeah, I haven't attended many of these meetings as I got it. Okay. Are you are you on a a laptop computer? I am on my laptop. Yes. All right. So somewhere down near the bottom of your screen, if you're on a PC, you might find a green button with a little arrow that says share. I do see share. Okay. Click on that. And I've got a lot of options, either applications or my entire yeah, screen. Whatever, where if you have the picture pulled up, whatever screen or tab you have with that picture, it should be one of the options. And then you can click on that and then we'll see it. Let me see here. I've got to change some settings inside Zoom. Give me one moment. Does it allow me to share my screen yet or not yet? Oh, here we go. Give me one second. Oh, yeah, this is different because now there's a graphic. Okay. Everyone can see that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Oh. And, well, and you're that absolutely is, right. It's a warmer yellow, <laughs> definitely not as orange. So, and that's the actual color. Correct. That's going to be the actual color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is the proportion of the sign. So we're seeing uh, eighteen inches tall by six feet long. Yes. It would help to see the sign on the building again. I realize the color won't be the same, but to see it as it's proportioned to the building. Mm -hmm. Your stop line. Yusan, do you also have that image of the sign on the building, or should I share the? Um, if you actually, let me see if I can pull it up. Not too many. Oh, I do actually right here. Give me just a moment. Okay, so updated here minus the flower, but the updated color. 
right? Yes. Okay. All right. So word numbers. We saw the sign just a minute ago. It had a, a graphic of a, a buttercup flower to the, the left of the bee in buttercup. Um, but here we see the correct proportions of the sign and location of the sign. We see the correct color. We do not see the lighting. Um, discussion. So we can reach we can reach out to the sign company and and have them forward you know whatever necessary information you guys need for the, the lighting part of it. Um, as mentioned before, if yeah, if it's possible to approve just for the sign permit um, and then do the lighting part at a later time, that that would help us a great deal. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's have a conversation about it. Um, and uh, let's see see where we land. Thank you for taking us through um, all of the the pieces that you have to share. I'm wondering if anybody, if any of the board members have thoughts on the signage, uh, the design of the sign uh, that you want to uh, share with the rest. Karen, please. Well, I did like the graphic of the buttercup on the side. I thought that was a nice detail. Mm -hmm. I agree. And there's, there's something awkward about the sign, how the, the oval reaches yeah. the top and bottom of the, the, the rectangle of the sign. You have a, a lot of, you have a lot of square footage that's not signaling your business, right? There's a lot of square footage that's just yellow, you know, many square inches. And I'm wondering where the, necessity for the the white oval comes from if you could just do away with it and have buttercup bakery with the 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 flower um and make it a little larger you know make the text a little larger yeah, I mean that, that's a great suggestion. That's that's something yeah we could definitely uh, make adjustments to my, my well, cousin this be... is yeah, this is her first business, so there's a lot of uh, brainstorming involved, and she, she had to obviously ask for a lot of assistance to help her get everything in place. So mm -hmm. the, the flower was actually drawn by a, a, a like a neat like her one of her nieces. Um, so she added that onto the sign, and then I had helped her with some of the font selections and, and the color selections. So yeah, I, I'll, I can definitely mention that to her to see if she wants to you know, fill, fill it in a little bit more um, just so that it doesn't look so empty. Other than that, were, were there any other suggestions? Of yeah, I think there were some other hands up. So if you wouldn't uh, mind, give us a minute just to entertain some of the um, comments and questions from the board members and, and let's um, let's see where we land. I, Karen, your hand is either still up or up again. Yeah, I just wanted to, um, I think I'm I had the same response you did. I, I do like the lettering. I think it's a warmer yellow, which is very positive. But I am, um, I think I, I feel that the amount of yellow in the sign sort of um, detracts from the actual message, which is buttercup. Yeah. And I also wonder, you know, you have a, a rectangle and then you have an oval. And I wonder if there's a way to play with shape a bit. The sign itself. The sign itself, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or maybe if you minimize the yellow, that would be enough. Yeah, I think I'm in agreement. Um, Karin, you had your hand up earlier, I thought. Did you? Yeah. I, I agree that it would be nice to have the lettering bigger because this is the name of the place. I like I, I, I like the fact that you're using a lot of yellow and this is a buttercup bakery. I think it's it's uh, kind of inviting, but the sign definitely and I 
and I agree, it's a lot of yellow. So to make the sign a little bit, the lettering bigger, and then maybe a little bit less yellow there, uh, but to echo everything else would probably be something that I would would make it a little bit more appealing. Uh, but it's it's is inviting. This this yellow uh, buttercup bakery in the middle of town makes you feel like going there and getting buttery things to eat. So, congratulations. Thank you. It feels like a, a significant um, redesign, but I think the the if I could sum up the recommendations here, it would be to enlarge the word buttercup and words craft bakery just to you know really let them stand out. There's a lot of yellow on the on the door and the frame of the window. Uh, it's possible that you don't need it so much up on the sign up above. I mean, maybe it's just a like a really warm white or super pale yellow with Buttercup Bakery and leave it at that. I don't, do you have the opportunity to round the edges of the sign or soften it in that way rather than having a graphic oval? Um, yeah, it's, it's I, I got to obviously run it by my cousin to see, you know, what final shape she wants. Um, mm -hmm. and I can mm -hmm. definitely mention everything that you guys suggested. Yeah, enlarging the font is fairly simple. Um, and then lessening the yellow is fairly simple. Um, so I, yeah, I can definitely run that by her and see what, what design she wants to kind of change this to, if anything. But yeah, the oval shape could be, could be adjusted to something else. Um, so I'll, I'll have to, yeah, let, let her know everything okay. that was talked about and, and see what, what other ideas she can come up with. My sense is that you don't need that white oval at all. Take it down. Just, yeah, just feels, yeah. feels like it's, you're, the proportions of an oval are gonna limit how much space you can give over to the signage text, yeah. no matter yeah. what, right? It could get longer and narrower, but then it's gonna look odd. Um, so would would this be better if we just kind of kept it I'm trying to think maybe like just mostly white with like a yellow edge and then just bigger font in the middle hold that thought I saw Pat's hand up I want to yeah it, I I was thinking actually something similar is, is to get rid of the yellow if if it was entirely a white background with yellow stripes or some some graphic on the edges and mm -hmm. bring back the buttercup flower because i think that's charming yeah but um it, that might be the way to think about it is to have a white sign with a yellow touch and the buttercup um, I, I, yeah that's what i was thank you for saying that the way that i was trying to say it before i think that it yeah be much cleaner. And and then the font could be larger. Yeah. Yeah. Very easy fixes. Okay. Um, and then we would ask, we're going to, we'll sum up our recommendation here momentarily for you, but just before you disappear this evening, you, you will, somebody will have to come back to the DRB to present the lighting. So we'd like to see an image mocked up to show where the lighting is gonna go. And then if you use that opportunity to talk about any additional fixed signage, like vinyl signage on the window or door, and if you have a neon open sign or something like that, we can help you to locate it. Gotcha. And if similarly, like when you're ready, if you're gonna have outdoor furniture or things like that, that that would also come before the board. Okay, sounds good. I just had one other question, which is, or one other thought, the color of the font mm -hmm. so that it stands out. I mean, it, you have a very warm color there and it's very attractive. I'm just wondering about it standing out from street level. 
It's kind of a deep brown. Something brown, dark. Something a darker. Dark, a little mm -hmm. deep. Yeah, I, I think once the font has been enlarged um, to take up a lot more space on the sign, it'll, it'll probably look um, or be a lot easier to, to spot from the road. Okay. I will say that it's a wonderful name for a bakery. It's... Thank you very much. It has a sweetness to it. All right. So I... Would anybody like to make a motion? Are you gonna make me sum this up? <laughs> We'd love it if, if you sum it up, Erica. <laughs> All right, I will. All right, I'm gonna move that we um, approve with recommendations the signage for Buttercup Craft Bakery. The recommendations are that the sign be uh, the warm white of the oval, but that we eliminate the oval. So the whole sign is warm white, that the words buttercup craft bakery all enlarge and that um, it's shown in a, a darker brown color. <laughs> And that we also would like the flower. Yeah. And, and right, the flower might be, should, should that be might be the, the only yellow that's needed on the sign. A hundred percent. Yeah. The flower, the flower wasn't um, submitted for for this file, but th that is going to be on the um, sign. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, if, we, if we it's like the flower, if it's an all white background and the font is enlarged and darkened, and then the flower is kind of positioned where it was shown before that may be the only yellow that's needed on the side because it it it's, tells the story agree i'm glad i was able to get so many ideas <laughs> from this meeting <laughs> so we're here for <laughs> okay all right so um collaborative motion has been made I'll you, second it. Yeah, thanks, Pat. Could I just ask for a read back just into what you've noted down? Sure. Warm white I background, have... darker brown font. Uh, yeah, so the sign in warm white, um, the same warm white that's currently in the oval, but we're eliminating the oval. Yep. And we are enlarging the text, all of the, the text. And the font for the text should be in a darker brown color yeah. and bringing back the yellow buttercup into the sign would sort of give you the highlight of the yellow that you need without being too much. Great. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. All right. All those in favor, please signal. Aye. 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 Thank you. That's everyone. All right. Yusan, thank you for, um, presenting tonight. Hopefully you have some good recommendations that you can work with going forward and we'll oh, see you at the bakery. So uh, Yusan, before you go, the next meeting would be November 18th November at 18th. 5 p.m. Uh, what was the time again? 5 p.m. 5 p.m. again. All right. Let me just quickly give me one second and share. I just made a quick adjustment to Are you able to see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're on the right path. So something along those lines with the flower and the larger font. Yeah. And maybe separate the tip of the P and the top of the K a little bit by moving yes. uh, craft bakery yeah. over a smidge. Yeah, um, this, I just did this while you guys were yeah. still finishing up. So I literally did this in like two seconds. But yeah, I'll make the <laughs> I'll make the necessary adjustments to make make the sign look more more professional. Okay. Would it help to frame? 
the image? Because now it's on a white background. Yeah, that's all I was wondering if 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 I should just add the like the yellow border or even a brown border. Brown border, perhaps. A brown border. I don't know if this is the place to to literally be working it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just not I'm not I'm not doing it as we speak, but I'm just yeah. still writing down all the all the suggestions. Yep. But I think what's on the screen right now is what we're more or less recommending. Gotcha. Yeah. Sounds good. So we will finish up the design and do we... Um... You'll submit another application and we'll see you... On the 18th. On the 18th, yeah. Okay, all right, sounds great. Great. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Have a nice for, night. <laughs> for the assistance. No problem. All right. So then somebody here to represent uh, Jones Properties on Prey Street. Let's check because I've been looking at the attendee list and I haven't seen the individual who might be Yeah, I haven't seen them. Okay. It would be Jane, but I haven't seen Jane. So. All right. Well, um, if if Jane's not here, then we, we know that um, JJ's here from Graphite. Graphite Studio. Okay, let's do that. Did I skip public comment? I believe so. Hello, we're from Graphite Studio. This is Andrew and my name is JJ. Hi. Hi. Hi, Andrew and JJ. Hello. Welcome. We're glad you're here. Um, sorry, we're just realizing I was just realizing that I aired and, and skipped right over general public comment. Uh completely didn't intend to. We'll do it right after this applicant talks about their project, which will be right before the uh, field, track and field proposal. Okay, sorry. Um, we're glad you're here. Thank you. Do, would you like to present your own uh, slides or do you want me to share and scroll on your behalf? Um, I can share my own slides. Great. Um, and we'll ask you just to walk us briefly through your proposal and then we'll have a few Q&A moments and all right I think hmm. I'm gonna look through video unknown and then share yeah, it's making me allow mm. Zoom workspace to share. Why don't you share, America? We've, we've got them up. It's giving us unfamiliar Zoom oh. menus. Oh, right, weird hazard signs. It looks very scary. <laughs> <laughs> Terrifying. Okay, so here's your application. Yes. Oh, yes. And then we've got some images. And yes. this is what I have, these, these pages. So um, where would you like me to be? All right, you can just stay on that page right now. Okay. Um, so I also gave supplemental documents that um, are with me right now, but we can talk about this. Um, currently, we are at North 116 on 235 Triangle Street, and there is a pre-existing sign there. Um, there's a frame, and everything is all mounted to the roof, so it is all secure. Uh, we took a peek and there are just, it's a, right now it's a plexiglass material that has a previous tenant's logo on it. And all it is, is just taking out the plexiglass and placing in our own. Mm -hmm. Our material is just going to be an aluminum panel. It's going to be white and our logo graphite studio with a, a little logo of a compass will be on it. And it would, right now the size of it is about uh, nine and a half feet 
by 21 inches, which is a little short of two feet. Um, and it will help us indicate because a lot of our clients get lost when they try to look for us. So that was our main concern was just showing our logo up on the front of our our mm -hmm. studio. Yes. Yeah, so that's kind of where we are at right now. Because ironic, you we have a compass as part of your logo, and people have a hard time finding you. <laughs> yeah, ironic, right? Yeah, we moved in last summer, and, and I've been slow to get us to change the logo overhead. But we had a logo. We um, had logo design finished last summer, and now we'd like to put it up top so people can come find us. Got it. The color of the aluminum, white. Yes, white. it'll be a white with a simple black logo. Mm -hmm. And then any illumination? Currently, there's a power source for lighting. Um, it is. It's broken. We don't intend to fix it. Oh, OK. We don't get a lot of night traffic for a design firm, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So where should I land here? Yes, for the logo. Mm -hmm. OK. All right. Board members, any questions or comments? It gets clean. It's lovely. We've lost, have we lost somebody? Yes. I'm just going down the stairs. Oh, hi, Karen. Okay. Um, okay. So no comments, which is good for you. Um, Perfect. <laughs> we usually like lots of comments, but we'll take none as a positive sign. Approval by default. No, I think it's I think it's a, a very clean, simple design. I think it's proportioned well for the the frame that you are refilling. Refilling. Thank you for the language there. Um the what's the material of the frame? Uh JJ, did you say it's wood? Um, the material, the sign itself would be on aluminum panels, yeah, so it's then, about three millimeters thick. It'll slot in with the pre-existing sign. There's yeah. no, like, it's not going to blind the drivers or anything. It's just going to be white. The material is going to be aluminum. The existing yeah. frame is a painted metal. Yeah. Thing. Painted metal. Okay. And yeah. are you going to paint that out white as well or uh, gray? What are your thoughts? Because right here it's shown as kind of, it looks a little it's bit brown. brown. <laughs> little it's rust brown. Uh, we hadn't thought to change it. It kind of matches the uh, painted metal trim of the roof edge. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that sign is not really there. That's just <laughs> it's, it's, it's a shot right. from Google Street View. Okay. So I'll just turn to the board members one more time if anybody has any thoughts. And if not, we could have a, entertain a motion to approve as presented. Anyone want to make that motion? I'd be glad to make the motion. Um, yeah. We'll approve the sign as presented. All right. Thank you. I so a second. Uh, Karen seconds. All right. Then all those in favor, uh, please raise your hand. Say aye. Aye. That's everybody. Perfect. Thank Wonderful. Thank you. Oh, Karen. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> we just voted. Um, okay, good. Thank you very much. I'll stop share. Um, great. You're good. All right. Have fun. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Enjoy, right. Enjoy your evening. You. All right. Bye. Okay. Apologies to anybody who's been waiting to make public comment. That was my error. Uh, completely unintentional. Uh, is there anybody in the audience who'd like to make public comment this evening? I'm not seeing anyone. Okay. And is there anybody from Jones Properties? One last call. No. And I resent the um, invite, so I'm not sure. All right. I'm not sure what's happened. 
Well, then let's let's jump into uh, the high school track. Great. So Bob and Kevin will be joining us. Hi, Bob and Kevin. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, usually uh, applicants want to uh, walk through their proposal uh, and, and, and we have a chance to weigh in. Um, I do want to preamble a little bit. This is the design review board. We trust that um, the layout of the track is not in our purview. We could talk tonight about um, lighting, especially lighting at the pedestrian scale, uh, materials on the ground, uh, any signage. Um, but feel free to introduce your proposal, but we're not here to pretend to be track designers. Certainly. I'll start off very briefly and I'll let Kevin as designer uh, from SLR take over to explain the project. Uh, project, as you may know, has been in the planning phases for a long time. Um, we are fortunate that we have funding in place to build a new track and field. We may not have enough funding to build everything that Kevin will be presenting tonight. Um, and unfortunately, it is what it is. We are, uh, we've actually been in front of, I believe, the Leverett CPA committee. We still have meetings with Shootsbury and Pelham. And I'm hopefully I'm getting, getting my lineup correct. Uh, to request CPA funding to help move this project forward. We have had a positive endorsement from the Amherst CPA committee, but we still have to get the final town council approval uh, for the additional funding from the town of Amherst. So we we have enough funding in place. We're certain to build a track and field, um, but not necessarily all the items that, that Kevin will be talking about. And, as Kevin goes through them, perhaps we would have identified some of the things that would be the likely targets if we had to structure a bid uh, from an ad alternate standpoint where we built what we needed to build and then had other items that we could add on subject to available funding and or defer to the future um, if and when additional funding would be available. So um, with that, I think I'll turn it over to Kevin. All right. Well, thank you very much. Uh, just to reintroduce myself, my name is Kevin Fuselier. I'm a principal landscape architect with SLR International Corporation. Um, I'll go ahead and share my screen and just walk you through the project. I don't mind if you interrupt me through my presentation or if you just wanna save questions to the end, either way is fine with me. So we'll just start. Can everyone see an aerial of the site? Mm -hmm. Yep. So we're looking at the uh, Amherst Pelham Regional High School campus. Uh, as we're, Bob had mentioned, we're talking about replacing the existing track and field located at the southwest corner of the site. The track is a uh, rubberized surface um, asphalt based track. Um, and I'll just go through some of the elements. It has a six pole um, high intensity discharge lighting system to cur uh, currently lighting the field. There's a shot put event area in the south D zone of the field. And then the high jump of area of areas in the uh, northeast um, D zone. There is a pole vault event area, dual end, uh, alongside a long jump, triple jump area. There's also, which is difficult to see, an old discus cage in the uh, northwest corner. What we're proposing is to reconstruct the, the entire facility. Um, the orientation of north-south is preferred to get the sunlight out of players' eyes. Um, and we're also expanding the running track from six lanes to eight. Um, we'll re be reconstructing the new event areas, the pole vault to outside the track area. Uh, the south D zone will be used for high jump and the north D zone will be used for long jump, triple jump. Uh, there'll be a new shot put event area a uh, new javelin, just painted lines on grass, and a new discus area. There is a future softball field shown that's not part of this project, um, but we just wanted to show um, up through the design point that we are accommodating for it, um, should it be wanted in the future. With the new track, um, we are proposing a new four-pole LED uh, athletic field lighting system. 
Those poles would be 80 feet tall, and I believe they each have 11 fixtures on them um, with LED technology. And I, I think I submitted an example and I can show it here. Um, it's a lot better focusing the light on the playing surface, reducing spill, reducing glare, um, as well as the benefits of instant on off, uh, remote control uh, use and um, dimmability. So only during competition would it need to be at the highest level. Uh, we did include a photometric plan in our site plans and basically within 150 feet of the light poles we're at almost zero foot candles, uh, very low measurements. There will be light provided for the track and the walkways from those athletic facility lights, um, but they will not be at the intensity uh, intended for the playing surfaces. Um, in addition to the track, which will be fully fenced in with four foot chain link fence, so the site's securable. Um, we have new ADA accessible walkways on all sides of the track, and we're providing an ADA compliant walk up to the existing parking lot. There'll be a new walkway running along the west side of the parking lot, and we're proposing a new drop off walkway along Mattoon Street. Uh, there are no proposed changes to driveways, parking areas, other than uh, just reconfiguring some existing striping to provide uh, ADA accessible parking spaces as close as we can get to the new accessible walkway down to the site. Uh, along the west side, you'll see this number two, this gray pad. Uh, that's, that's a concrete bleacher pad, but at this time, uh, as Bob mentioned with budget, there's no new spectator seating proposed. Uh, we just would hope that the budget would allow this pad because we wouldn't want to have to go in there in the future and uh, disturb the site. Um, the field with itself uh, within the running track is going to be a high performance natural grass field with a new irrigation system. And then we're going to take spoils from this construction and just re-level and regrade a uh, not as high performance field. And, and mainly because it just won't have irrigation initially, but we will provide provisions to allow a new irrigation system in the future. Uh, we do have one, what I would call a sign on this project. <laughs> that would be a new scoreboard, a very simple LED scoreboard. Uh, the dimensions are 25 feet wide, 10 feet tall. Um, and that would be a, a installed a minimum with a 10 feet above grade. It's all wireless operation, um, just the newer, newer technology. And then here's one example of converting an existing um, high intensity discharge athletic field lighting system to LED. And in the picture, you can just see how much more cutoff there is, how much more direct light and the, the color of the light is improved for the players. And then we gave you a very detailed site plan, uh, uh, not site plan, site, yeah, well, site plan application package uh, that we've been using for all our permitting efforts. Um, we did provide a cut sheet of the, the Musco pole just to give you an idea of what the LED looks like. I'm pretty sure if you go around uh, the community, uh, particularly to the universities, I'm sure some of them have started converting to LED lights. Um, it's really where the, the industry is going. Um, though in a few years, we don't anticipate um, high mass lighting being anything other than LED technology for athletic facilities. And that's, um, I know I went through things quickly. Um, oh, we do also, sorry, I mentioned the four foot chain link fence around the perimeter of the track. We will be replacing a portion of the six foot chain link fence along Mattoon Street uh, to a black vinyl coated fencing. Currently, it's just a uh, galvanized steel in various states of disrepair. I did refer to there possibly being a couple of items that we may need to not construct at this point. Um, one of those is um, the lighting system itself. Uh, our goal right now is to put everything into the ground that might be necessary so we don't have to disturb the site in the future. Um, but subject to available funding, we may or may not actually install. We'll put the light bases in place. We'll put the conduits in place. Uh, but we may or may not, subject to funding, put the light poles and the lighting system itself in place. Another item that we've identified um, is the upgrade to the existing sidewalk along Mattoon Street. 
the plan that that Kevin presented right now shows a new sidewalk paralleling Mattoon Street. Uh, that's an item that if we have to, uh, we wouldn't be completing um, at, at this point in the project, but we would still complete all the connecting pathways, all the accessible pathways are clearly something that we need to need to do as a minimum, but it's the the, the the unfortunate, you know, making certain that we can build a, a track and field that's functional that may not have all the things that everybody would desire um, at the beginning of um, opening up a, a brand new track facility. Thanks for walking us through that. Um, uh, DRB members, do you have any questions for um, Mr. Fusilier or Parent? I just have one question. It appears that the new track in, in its components is larger than the existing track. I'm not sure if that's true or not. It, well, it's, it, so it, it is larger as we're adding two lanes uh, to the track. So it, it it's still going to be a 400 meter um, regulation running track. Um, it, we've changed its geometry a little bit just to get a, a slightly wider soccer field within the track. Um, but really only the only size wise that we're increasing is those two extra lanes all the way around. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Karen, go ahead. I was just wondering, the height of the sign is the same as before? The scoreboard that we're proposing? Yeah. Um, yeah. Geez, that's a good question. Um, Bob, you've probably been out there more recently than I have. That existing scoreboard in the southwest corner of the site. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from memory, I can't recollect how high it is off the ground. Um, I think it might be a little lower. Um, typically, we don't like to go any lower than 10 feet with the bottom of the board for people on bicycles maybe coming through and potentially hitting the bottom of the board. Um, but right. we know, we understand that we don't want this thing you know, it's sticking up like a highway traffic, a highway billboard. Um, so 10 foot is typically the norm. Okay, thank you. Thanks. And that would put the top of the board at 18 feet, I believe. I'm wondering if you could just reiterate where the ADA accessible pathway goes. Sure. So can you see my cursor? Yes. The hand? Yep. All right. So Mattoon Street will remain accessible. Um, and there, there will be provisions. I believe there's accessible spots across the street. The pathway, the gray pathway here is, will be all new sidewalk around the perimeter of the track. That will be accessible. Uh, the, the proposed bleacher pad will be accessible. And then what we're doing is working the way our way up this hillside here uh, with a, a, a six foot wide uh, by two minutes concrete pathway that will not exceed 4% in uh, rise over run and okay. travel. And we have received uh, approval from the, um, uh, Bob, correct me if I say it wrong, the Disability Access Board. Advisory Committee, correct. Yes. Advisory yeah. Committee. <laughs> A Thank you. positive yeah. recommendation with really with no suggestions, just a positive endorsement of the project. Yeah, that was included in the package, and I'm I'm glad that you I asked the question because I thought that um, 13, the pathway adjacent to the number 13, was the only accessible route down, and I'm I'm really glad that the that you've clarified that the entire perimeter is accessible, as is the the pathway to Mattoon Street because it's a correct. The that's only the spot is by 17 walk. here, and that's the existing concrete steps that we're yeah. going to keep. Okay, and then you you mentioned just now that the it's a it's a concrete walkway that it's an asphalt. Yep. Oh, okay, asphalt. Sorry. Yeah, by two minutes concrete asphalt. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and then the the new four foot chain link fence that surrounds this track area is that um, coded or? Yep, that will be also black uh, PVC vinyl coated. Okay. And the way we spec it is the highest level of coating that, uh, you know, is the most durable. You don't want to see the, the black coating peeling off in five right. to 10 years.
Okay. I think given the, the number of uh, uh, kind of committees that have weighed in on the orientation of the field and things that that's like kind of outside of our, our space, but if there were any comments from the board members about um, materiality of pathways of, of fencing about sign color, right? These are things that we order. I'm sure it's, there's some changes that could be made, but it's a scoreboard pretty functional <laughs> trusting that layout myself. Um, but I'm I am open to questions or or comments, recommendations that the board has. Let us know. And barring none, barring barring none, barring any, um, we could have entertain a motion to approve as presented this evening. I'll be glad to make the motion that we approve right. as presented this evening. Thank you. A second. A second. Thank you, Karin. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, that's everyone. Thank you for coming. Excellent. Thank you very Thank much. You. Bye. Have a nice night. You too. Okay. Um, Jones Properties? No, I even emailed her. Okay. All right. Well, maybe they'll be on the agenda for the next one, November meeting. Um, how y'all doing? I'm checking. Good. Doing okay. Thank you. Um, I, I have to leave, unfortunately, in about 15 minutes tonight. I think it was, what you missed in the beginning was that we're going to table the discussion about the DRB That's design great. review standards anyways, because Lindsay wasn't here and you weren't here at the time. Um, if we have time to review the meeting minutes and approve those from the last, um, then we can do that. Uh, it shouldn't take 15 minutes. We'll get you out of here in time. How's that sound? Okay. Have you all done and uh, read them? Yes. Yes. Oh, good. Any suggestions then for revisions? No. No. I have one, but of course Lindsay's not here. Um, and that is that in the in the discussion about uh, the the DRB guidelines and revisions, um, Lindsay had offered to right we had a discussion about what we mean by compatibility but lindsay offered to uh, draft a proposal for the board's consideration okay i didn't have any other adjustments so just clarify that that in the discussion section yes please okay And then I had a, a question for you, Jacinta, and that is that a number of things are highlighted in yellow. And mm -hmm. um, that was just for me to track the recommendations as we went throughout okay. the discussion. So. All right. I didn't know if they had like kind of reminders to change language or something like that, but if they're just reminders, that's fine. Okay, great. Motion to approve the minutes with uh edit as suggested can i ask for a second i'll second it thank you all those in favor bye bye thanks that's everybody okay any other business unanticipated no just that we'll meet november 18th at five p.m. Okay. And just into, um, to follow up on Buttercup Bakery, it sounds like um, Yusan was really on top of the changes um, 
but since they'll be coming back, um, could we send a reminder email that we also want to talk about the, the, the lighting and then any yes. additional signage in the window? So reminder email about lighting and signage in the window. Yeah. Or door. Or door. And or door. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just so that when they come back, it's like a full package and we don't have to ask them to come back another time. Because it sounds like they're really on schedule for opening soon. So Great. All right. Shall we adjourn? Motion approved. <laughs> <laughs> Have a lovely evening, everybody. And Thanks. you as well. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.